Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will learn about the attribute binding. So what is this attribute binding? I will try to open the notepad plus plus before explanation of this one. So what is this attribute binding? Attribute binding in Angular helps you set the values for attributes directly. With attribute binding, you can improve the accessibility, style your application dynamically and manage the multiple CSS classes or styles simultaneously. So what is this one is attribute binding syntax resembles the property binding only, but instead of an element property between the brackets, you precede the name of the attribute with the prefix attr followed by a dot. Then you will set the attribute value with an expression that resolves a string. So that means for example, let's say that you are having an element. Okay. So you are having an HTML element like this, and now you need to apply some attributes to this one. So let's say that I want to apply data hyphen uh, value is equal to some one. So this is the custom attribute or any attribute. So let's say that this is an attribute. And if you want to set this attribute means, so then we will be using the attribute binding instead of the property binding. So we will be using something like, like this one, right? Instead of using like this, we'll be using the attribute binding. <coughs> so how this attribute binding will be there is the syntax is so square bracket attr, you need to precede it with an attr dot and you need to write the attribute, whatever the attribute you want, right? So in this scenario, the attribute is nothing but data hyphen value and you can assign the value for this one. So that is nothing but the property of the component instance. So like this, you will be adding. So when the expression, so here when this property value or the expression resolves to null or undefined means then Angular completely removes the attribute altogether. So this is one thing you need to understand. So where we will be using this attribute binding. So that is the one thing you will be able to have. So one primary uh, use case where we will be using this attribute binding is attribute binding is to set the ARIA attributes. So accessibility things so we will be using. For example, let's say that you are having a button means then for this button, you will be setting it attr dot area hyphen label is equal to action name. So in this place, you will be using it. So for this attribute also, we will be using another common use case where we will be using this attribute binding is with the call span also. So in our previous video, we have seen about this call span. So binding is with the call span attribute in tables. Binding to the call span attribute helps you to keep the your program tables programmatically dynamic, depending on the amount of data that your application populates a table with a number of columns. So how you can specify this call span is previously for the property binding, what you will try to do. So you need to give it like this call span S as the capital. So if you want to use this call span means then it is an attribute, right? So you can use attr dot call span like this. We can use it directly. So in this way also we can use it. So anyways, so in which way you want to use, you can, you can use it. That's not a problem. So now <coughs> I will try to explain you one uh, simple example for this one. So that is nothing but what I can say is, so how we can use it for the button thing. Let's go to our code here. So this is our code, right? And now if you try to see here, this is, we are having the table. And if you go to the app component HTML, so I have used this call span as the what I can say is property binding. So if you want to use the attribute binding means then you need to add ATTR. So now if I try to refresh this page, so now here you will be able to see. So here call span, we need to give it like this. Now then also it will work. Okay. So then also it will work for, but, but when you try to use it like this means then you will get an error. So this is what you'll be using mainly in the attribute thing. So the com one common use case where we will be using is the for the button thing. So for example, if you are having here uh, button name means, so let's say that you are having a button label. Let's assume that here I will be using, uh, uh, let's say the title. I want to use this title means then here, what, how can I use it is for this button ATR, ATTR dot area hyphen label is equal to, and I can use the title directly. Now you'll be able to see for this button, you will be able to get the here. Uh, where is this button? Yeah. So for this one, you'll be able to see area hyphen label is equal to angular new. So like this, in this example, area hyphen label attribute of the button is dynamically set to the value of the title property in the component. So not only this one, we can also bind the custom attributes also. So if you are having a custom attribute on an element means you can bind it similarly. So for example, let's say that I am having a div attribute. So for this one, so I want to apply this attribute means. So here, let's say that attr dot data hyphen custom. Okay. I can use it like this and I can use the custom uh, value or otherwise I can use the title also directly. So I can use this title also. Now, if you try to check this one, do Leela web do, and if you try to check it with an inspect element, 
and here you will be able to see the data hyphen custom is equal to angular hyphen new. So here the data hyphen custom attribute of the div element is bound to the title property in the component. Not only this one, you can also bind it with the for the SVG elements also. For example, let's say that I am having an SVG width and an SVG height. Let's say zoom. So here I am having an SVG width and SVG height. So these are the SVG width and the SVG height. Now if I want to attach it to this one means, so then what I can do it is in our app component.html. Okay, here I will be writing. So for the width, I can add it something like attr.width is equal to SVG width and attr.height is equal to SVG height. So this is a circle which I am trying to give it. Now if you try to change the width of this one means then you will be able to see oval shape or something like this. So now you will be able to see, see half thing. So like this, you will be able to see. So this is how we can implement the attribute binding. So the important notes you need to understand. So difference from the property binding. What is the difference from the property binding? Attribute binding is different from the property binding. Property binding is used to bind the DOM properties of an HTML element, whereas attribute binding is used to bind the HTML attributes. So now whenever you are trying to use this uh, boolean attributes or something like that means then what you need to do it is so must and should we need to use the property binding only we should not use the attribute binding instead of using the attribute binding we need to use the property binding by using this attribute binding you can make your angular applications more dynamic and interactive by linking the html attributes directly to the components data properties so this is what useful for the attributes attribute binding not only uh, not only for this all attributes and all those things we can also use it for the classes attribute dot class like that also we can use it not a problem but in angular we have for a separate class and the styles we have separate type of binding which we will try to see in our upcoming videos so this is all about the attribute binding so the main scenario when we need to use the property binding and the attribute binding is so when to use this property binding is when you need to bind the data to your dom elements property like value disabled src etc so like this dom elements property when you are trying to bind it then we need to use the property binding when you want to ensure that the property of the element updates dynamically as the bound data changes means then also we need to use the property binding and the attribute binding means whenever you need to bind the data to your non-property attributes like call span area iphone star attributes custom attributes etc like this then we'll use the attribute uh, binding when you want to set or update an attribute that does not have a corresponding dom property or when the property and attribute are different so that is that is that is one scenario which you will be using and used for the standard properties of dom elements so i already explained you so now the uh, property binding will be something like a property square bracket and expression you will be having whereas for the attribute binding you will be having attr dot where is that one attr dot and the attribute name you will be having so this is one thing which you need to understand so in summary what i can say is use property binding when deal with the when dealing with the dom properties that is one thing like value disabled etc using attribute use attribute binding when dealing with the attributes that don't have a corresponding properties or when you need to use some custom attributes so that's it so this is all about the attribute binding so in the next video we will try to see about the class and style binding in the angular 18 so hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you